you ask yourself, what do I want my attitude to be when things go wrong? You're not going to say, I want to be annoyed, I want to be upset. When you ask yourself the question, what do I want my attitude to be, you're more likely to say, I don't want to be angry, I don't want to be annoyed about this. And having answered it that way, you will make some effort not to be angry and not to be frustrated. And I'll give you an example of where it helped me a couple of years ago. I was driving in the western suburbs of Chicago in heavy rush hour traffic. Came to a set of traffic lights, turned left of the traffic lights, and a few seconds after turning left, I noticed in my rear view mirror a mobile discotheque. <laughs> Cop car flashing lights. So I pulled to the slower lane, he pulled to the slower lane. And I remember saying to myself, well, Holy St. Patrick and St. Bridget. <laughs> Bit of respect there, please. <laughs> Holy St. Patrick and St. Bridget. What could that fine officer of the law want from an upstanding citizen like me? Now, that was the gist of what I was thinking. Um, I may have said uh, just one four-letter word. Um, but for those of you whose mind is in the gutter, the word was oops. <laughs> which, as you all know, stands for, uh-oh, police, stop. <laughs> right. So I pulled into a little small parking lot at the side of the road, and as I was pulling in, I said to myself, now why does he want to speak to me? And the only reason I could figure why he might want to speak to me was when I had turned left of the traffic lights. They were slightly red, <laughs> but not by a whole lot now, mind you. <laughs> so he is there on his computer checking me to see if, in my case, I'm a member of the Irish Republican Army, <clears throat> or even worse, a Cubs fan. Uh, go White Sox! <laughs> hey. I, I have to tell you, depending on who I'm speaking to, I obviously try and put in a kind of an answer to that that gets a, a reaction. But when I was speaking up in the, near the Green Bay area a couple of years ago, I made the comment that the cop was checking to see if I was a member of the Irish Republican Army, or worse, a Packers fan. Oh. I didn't think I would get out of that room alive. <laughs> So he was there checking my computer to see what I, um, my record was like. And I asked myself the question that I said you should ask when things go wrong. So I asked myself the question, what do I want my attitude to be? And I said, there's no point in being antsy and annoyed about this. He probably doesn't understand the concept of slightly red lights. <laughs> so in my side mirror, I see him walking up towards me. And this being Chicagoland area, I prayed that he had an Irish name. <laughs> I prayed that he had this vision of Ireland that the roads are still unpaved. <laughs> that milk is brought to the creamery via donkey and cart. <laughs> and that traffic lights, if they exist at all, are, well, basically advisory. <laughs> I look up. Officer Schmidt. who proceeded to tell me in minute detail what I had done wrong. He asked for my license and he asked for my insurance. Now, none of this is made up, I promise you. I had asked myself the question, what do I want my attitude to be? As he is looking at my license, he says to me, Sir, I like your attitude. I'm thinking, woohoo, I'm getting away with this. <laughs> then he looks at my insurance and he says, Sir, your insurance certificate is out of date. Uh, my wife normally looks after that officer. <laughs> he smiled. I think he realized he was dealing with one more administratively incompetent husband. <laughs> Ladies, you know the story, I'm sure. And he just handed back the insurance certificate to me, and he said, look, um, uh, take it easy on that one. Now, I should tell you that this event happened on the 16th of March. Okay, one day before St. Patrick's Day. So the rest of the conversation went as follows. We're having great good fun, and as you will see, it continued that way. So the rest of the conversation went, uh, how much will this cost me, officer? He said, I'll cite you for the uh, red light. I'll leave you go on the insurance. That'll cost you $75, sir. $75? Do you know how many pints of Guinness I can get tomorrow for $75? <laughs> the guy cracked up laughing. I think he thought I was on crystal meth. 
And he said to me, sir, if I was to cite you for the red light and the lack of insurance, this, this would be significantly more expensive. You'd have to go to a traffic court. So I said, uh, thank you. I appreciate the, the break you've given me. I pull into a very small parking lot with only one access and egress. So I had to turn the car around and drive by Officer Schmidt. As I drove by Officer Schmidt, I kid you not, he waved to me with a genuine smile. That was how the conversation had gone. And I said, this is crazy. This guy's waving to me with a genuine smile and he's after fining me 75 bucks. <laughs> and I waved back to him with a genuine smile saying, this is really crazy. <laughs> he's fined me 75 bucks and I'm waving back to him. But what Officer Schmidt though would not have known was that for only $75, I had got a really memorable anecdote about the importance of asking yourself a really powerful question when things go wrong. And when things go wrong, and they will for every single person in this room at some stage, the question to ask yourself is, what do I want my attitude to be? It's a powerful question. If you get stuck in a traffic jam on the 88 this afternoon or 355 or going home and there's nothing you can do about it, ask yourself the question, what do I want my attitude to be?